guys, my name is Taylor and I'm from NetBeansTutorials.com and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the for loop. The for loop is very simple. It runs its containing code until the end of time or until its parameters tell it to stop. The for loop is declared as such. Type for, the parameters in parentheses, and then the code that it is supposed to run repeatedly. Let's give it some context in this code here. Your code has run Okay, now we haven't declared that quite yet. I'll show you how to do that. This will run as many times as the for loop executes. The for loop has a very specific parameter expectations. It expects three separated expressions denoted by my numbers here, and they are separated by semicolons. They work together to tell the for loop how many times it's run and when it should terminate. The first one is expected to be as some sort of initialization for the amount of times that the for loop has run. So we're going to type int times equals zero. The first section of code on the for loop's parameters, the first expression, will only initialize once when the for is run the first time. The second will be checked to see if it's false or true. If true, the, the for loop will continue to repeat itself over and over again until it's false. So let's say we want our code to run 10 times. Well, we need this to be true until this is greater than 10. So times less than 10. It will be true until it equals 10. And then after that, it will not run again, because it is not true that 10 is less than 10. And then on 3, we each time the for loop runs, we have to add 1 to, to the amount of times it's run. It starts at 0, and then the first time it runs, we'll add 1, so it'll be 1 time run. Okay, so times plus plus. Very simple. Let's run it and see what happens. Fantastic, except, you know... It needed to have been 11 for my code to run 10 times, but whatever. I hope you, I hope you learned something, and uh, if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below, either here or on my site at netbeanstutorials.com. Thanks for watching.